We're here back in Fantasy Bar. Huge Wednesday night slate in the NBA. We got six of my favorite plays ready for you on FanDuel and DraftKings, including four guys under 5,500 on DraftKings to make life easy on you. Some of my favorite mid range plays, along with some value plays I am eyeing up tonight. A guy on the higher end I think could go overlooked and a beast of the night. I absolutely love tonight. Under 7,000 on DraftKings. Who are we talking about? Only one way to find out. It's time to belly up to the Fantasy Bar. Welcome in, guys. Wednesday edition, Beers Daily Fantasy Six Pack. Been a while since we joined you here talking some NBA. Took a few days to head up to Lambeau Field and sit in the rain for 12 hours while my Packers got destroyed by the Lions. But we are not here to talk NFL. That is coming tomorrow. Today, we are talking NBA. Thank you, as always, stopping by and checking out today's video. Before we get to the plays of the day, take a second, click that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos last video got to go all the way back to october 30th but it was a good one for a solid four out of six even close to a five out of six scotty pippen jr definitely disappointed but very good games that night out of jordan pool the rookie risha shea yaka Perto with a huge game and our beast in the night jason tatum going for over 60 DraftKings points congrats to our beast of the night contest winners on that one your shot to win some free roto grinders premium coming up at the end of this video. All right, let's dive into things. Let's start at point guard, shooting guard with Peyton Pritchard of Boston. So Pritchard playing a very solid role for this Celtics team, and that's at full health and really been delivering a solid floor, but we've seen ceiling upside as well. Now we add in the fact, no Jalen Brown tonight, and his role very secure in this Boston rotation and expect to see a bump here tonight without Jalen Brown. 25 or more minutes now in seven of the last eight games, has three or more threes made in six of the last eight games and over his last five giving us over 32 DraftKings points per game so we're talking a solid 6x return on average here for Peyton Pritchard now the matchup tonight certainly not easy Golden State one of the best defensive teams in basketball early on in the season but as it says on the graphic the minutes should be there the shot volume has certainly been there and without Jalen Brown on the floor nice two and a half percent usage bump here for Pritchard Yes, Derek White, Jason Tatum in play as well at differing price points. I think Pritchard, fantastic value with no Jalen Brown. All right, let's go to some value at the guard position with Brandon Boston of New Orleans. So you talk about injuries, New Orleans, certainly a ton of guys going to miss here tonight. No Murray, McCollum, Murphy, and Jones. We also have Zion Williamson and Jordan Hawkins listed as questionable. Now, if Hawkins is out, we're expected to see Brandon Boston in the starting lineup once again, even if those guys play I still think there's going to be plenty of minutes available for Brandon Boston, averaging over 33 minutes per game in the last two, 34 shot attempts over the last three. So he has not been shy, getting the shots up. That volume should continue to be there without some of their big guns in the lineup. And on top of that scoring and shooting volume, really getting it done on the glass. The assists are there and multiple steals now in three of the last four games. So we talk about it all the time. Guys that can contribute across the entire stat sheet, Boston has shown. That ability, prices on the rise here. I don't think they've gone high enough with all of these injuries in New Orleans. All right, let's stay with New Orleans and spend some money on Brandon Ingram. So this offense simply gonna continue to flow through Brandon Ingram, as we mentioned, Murray McCollum out, Zion Williamson questionable, expected to miss the game, even if he's back, still plenty of volume with those guys out of the lineup. You see it in the shot attempts, 25, 19, and 24 shot attempts over his last three games that's led to 26 or more points in each of the last three games 44 or more DraftKings points so really delivering a solid floor with all the shots that he is seeing now the spot here not easy Cleveland very good defensively but I think what's going to happen here with all the value on this slate we're going to highlight a couple value plays I think a lot of people are going to go stars and scrubs with their builds so this seven to eight to nine K range may go a little bit overlooked. Early ownership looks like only around 10% for Brandon Ingram. That number likely rises if Zion is announced out. Either way, I think Brandon Ingram, fantastic play here tonight against the Cleveland Cavaliers. All right, let's go do some value at the point guard position with Russell Westbrook of Denver. Now this one, I know, likely the highest owned player on the slate. I generally don't like including these guys in the video, but it shows how much I want to get Russell Westbrook in my lineups. Cash games, I think he's an absolute lock here tonight and still in play in GPPs. Just because a guy is high owned doesn't mean you have to avoid it. Remember, generally they're high owned for a good reason. So you just get different, find some lower owned plays like we gave you with Brandon Ingram. But the projection on Westbrook, too tough to ignore. 
highest point per dollar projection by far with Jamal Murray out of that lineup. We saw a nice 8x return out of him in his last game. Price did not go up at all here on him. 30 or more minutes in each of the last two games, and he has delivered nearly 34. DraftKings points per game will be highly popular here tonight, but I love his all-around game. No Jamal Murray. Give me some Russell Westbrook here, even with these ownership rates on Wednesday night. All right, let's stay right there with Denver. Get you another play in the cheap seats with Peyton Watson. So we mentioned the Murray injury. Other injury for Denver, Aaron Gordon, not going to play here tonight. And we saw a lot of flashes last season out of Peyton Watson when Gordon was out. We saw it again the other night, gave us over a 7x return in that game without Aaron Gordon. Not a guy that's gonna get a ton of volume of shots, but is going to rack up some of the other stats, especially the steals and blocks we know are so valuable in DFS. This guy can get it done in a hurry. Doesn't need a ton of minutes, doesn't need a ton of shots. I think he vastly outproduces these prices under 4K on both sides. All right, it's time for my favorite play for Wednesday night. Before we do that, let's continue our Beast of the Night. Contest easy to play. Click that thumbs up button, head to the comment section, and guess fantasy points on DraftKings for my Beast of the Night. Whoever's guess is the closest, you're gonna win a free week of Roto Grinders Premium just for hanging out in the fantasy bar. And while you're down there, get your guess in. Also, who is your top play? Tons of options on this slate. Who's your top dog? Who is your Beast of the Night? for Wednesday night. All right, let's wrap it up with my favorite play. You know, Mass the Beast of the Night. All right, Beast time. We promised you a Beast under 7,000 on DraftKings, and we are going right under that at 6,900. Nice with Jalen Suggs of the Magic, tonight's Beast of the Night. So we've seen glimpses, we've seen flashes. This guy's dealt with a lot of injuries, but we are really seeing the breakout here for Jalen Suggs. Paolo Bancaro remains out, and I think he's gonna continue to be a key focal point here for this Orlando Magic team. Only once over his last six as he dipped under 37 DraftKings points, and in fact, over his last six games, averaging over 42. DraftKings points, and we have seen this matchup already once already. Suggs went for 25, 5, and 7 over 47 DraftKings points against this team, and it makes sense. Indiana has really struggled defensively. Bottom six in both points and three-pointers allowed to point guards. Bottom 10 in fantasy points, and a bottom five defensive efficiency team amongst all teams in the NBA. Great spot here for the Orlando Magic. Suggs, too cheap. I think he smashes once again, Jalen Suggs, easily my favorite play on the board in tonight's Beast of the Night. All right, guys, that'll do it for our Wednesday night six-pack. As always, any comments, questions, or feedback, hit me up in that comment section right below the video. Don't forget, your guest, Jalen Suggs, fantasy output on DraftKings. First shot to win a free week of Roto-Grinders Premium. And who is your Beast of the Night? Let me know in that YouTube comment section for Rotogrinders.com. I am Bear saying salut. Thank you so much for watching. Best of luck. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for checking out our videos. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more DraftKings, FanDuel, and other DFS content. And you can check out our daily live show schedule on rotogrinders.com slash videos.